What's going on everybody? Today we're going to talk about custom sources in Subledger Accounting, SLA. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a copy of the SLAM. We're going to create a copy of the AAD. We're going to create a copy of the JLD. We're going to create a copy of the JLT and we're going to assign the SLAM to the ledger. Then we're going to create a function, create a custom source, create an ADR, create a mapping set, and then we're going to test the whole thing. All right, let's get started with the copying of the SLAM and all of its bits and pieces. So first we're going to set up the top 10 list. So I'm going to go all the way down into methods, etc. And then notice I'm just going to show how I tag those over. And then the last one is up here with sources, go all the way down and find custom sources and move that over. All right, so let's Let's begin with the SLAM. We're gonna find standard accrual and we're gonna copy that. It's gonna be macker for all across the board. All right, we'll give it a description and then we need to assign the chart of accounts because we're going to target the account. So we're gonna go into the application accounting definition. I grab that, copy it, give it a unique name, description, Again, put in the accounting and save. All right, let's go further down. We'll find invoices and we need to copy the JLD. Notice we have invoices, copy that. Copy the definition, the JLD. Again, the chart of accounts, save it. All looking good and now we have the receipt, the, the invoice default receivables and notice we're targeting the accounts. So we're all good there. That's because we chose the chart of accounts. Now we're going to make a copy of the line type here, the description, no transaction chart of accounts involved in this. Okay. All looks good. Save it. Let's, let's deactivate that original, the Oracle one. We'll put in the one we just created. It'll be active. We'll save it. All right. And I just want to show you that we need to update this down here to be the same as its original so that it still works. All right. So we save that. Save it. And then you'll notice they match. And we can literally, even though we deactivate it, we can just delete it. You could always bring it back. It's not deleted from the system. Now you notice it's not validated. All right. We could validate it now, but first, we will update the JLD, trying to get it. Now we got it. All right, there we go. Now we save that and delete the original. Save that, all right. Notice nothing's validated. Now we're gonna, we're gonna update, we're gonna update receivables with the new one Notice it's user and we'll give it a date. I'll save it. Now we're going to go back to the application accounting and then validate. Now, again, I sped all this up. Okay, it's valid. All right, let's go downstairs and make sure just for the fun of it, because if it says valid upstairs, it means everything downstairs is valid, to be honest with you. All good. And we'll make a copy of this code. All right. And then we'll close it. And now we're going to go over to the general ledger super user. And then set up financials. Accounting setup manager and then accounting setup. Let's query up our ledger. And go update accounting options. And then we'll do the options again. Go downstairs and here's what we're changing. We just put in the macker and then select it. Save it. And 
Okay, we're going to go back and then we'll we'll go back in one more time just to verify and double check to be thorough. All good. Just cancel. Go back to the main screen for the sake of cleaning things up. And now let's go over to the transaction. All right, let's query up the transaction that I had created for this supply, sorry, this customer's super buy. Got a line there. Let's go look at the distribution. That's the revenue from the transaction type. And then auto accounting will take care of that with a line. And now we'll do create accounting. And what we're doing here is we're just validating that the copies that we made are still working. Since we assigned a new slam to the ledger, we want to make sure we're starting with a baseline that works. And notice 11 101. And we'll close that down. And now that will wrap up getting the slam and all of its components turned into copies so we can work with it. All right, so we'll get going with the creating of the function. Here it is. You'll notice it matches. And then you'll notice the parameters are matching as well. Okay, and what we want to return is the credit classification, which will be high, moderate, or low. We'll see that in a moment. All right, let's go over to the customer. And I'll show you where it's set in this particular example of how we can go out to the customer in this particular particular case it's super buy and then we're going to go to the account level and this particular design is based on setting it at the account level it would change if it was set differently so we'll go to the account profile and notice the credit there it is so it matches again credit classification you can see it matches over there in the function so the function has been saved to the database it's ready We'll now create a custom source, we'll give it a name. And now we have to make sure that the function name is identical to the one that we created. Now we need to give it the parameters and they need to be in the right order. And you'll notice it here. Party ID in this particular case is set by the bill to customer identifier. And then here, that is set to the account identifier. So you sometimes have to go through trial and error to get that right. All right, so let's go query up the journal line definition. And then we'll go downstairs to the account derivation rule. We'll create a new one. We'll give it a code. We'll give it a name. We'll give it a description. And as we've cascaded the chart of accounts through all of these, we're going to again put the accounting chart of accounts. We're going to use the account because that's what we're trying to identify for the receivables account. We're going to create a mapping set, give it a, give it a code, give it a name, give it a description. One more time, the chart of accounts. That's important. And one more time, account. Now let's put in the values. Low for 11103. Give it a start date. That's before any transactions. And then we're going to have moderate at 1105. And you can come up with any kind of creativity here you like. And then high 1107. And save that. Let's assign it. Let's put in the source, which is the custom source we created from the function. I'm going to assign it the account derivation rule. And there it is, the one we just created. Let's save that. Take a look. Everything's good. Close it down. And now we have to go to the account application accounting definition again. Search it up. Find. And now you'll notice it's not validated. And the only one that's not validated is the one we're working on in this case. And that's invoice, right? 
and we'll validate. And I ran, I've sped this all up because it takes a little bit of time depending on the speed of your machine. Let's go back to invoice. Notice that notice it's valid and the current status is valid. So we'll close that down. And now we'll go back to the transaction. We'll create accounting. Okay, we already saw what accounting it had at the line. So we've created the accounting. Success. Now let's go look at the view accounting. And then notice 1107. One, one, or sorry, just 11107, I should say. All right, distribution is, a, is 11101. The accounting that occurred in SLA is 07. All right, now I'm gonna put that down for a second. I'm back at the customer, at the account profile level. We're gonna change this to moderate. Save and apply. And for the sake of being thorough, we'll just double check. All right, yes, it's set. Let's click cancel out of here. And we're back at the transaction. I'm going to incomplete it and then recomplete it for the sake of it. All right, let's go upstairs to create accounting and online and it's done and we'll go over and we'll view accounting and now it's 1105 so it's doing that query with the function okay still 11 11101 we'll close that down and that folks wraps up a full-blown using a custom source in sla so that's going to do it for this one, folks. If you found the information useful, why not consider using the subscribe button like a bookmark so you can have easy access to the information without having to search for it when you need it. I really hope you enjoyed your visit today, and I will catch you in the next one.